everyone. I'm Quinn Ballou from Miss Ma's class, and I'm here with uh, someone from uh, the wastewater treatment plant, and he's here to answer some of my questions. Yeah, my name is Peter Ballou. I am an electrical engineer and process engineer with the Clark County Water Reclamation District. I, my background is I've been doing water and wastewater uh, design and construction um, and for the last 18 years. And I've been here in Las Vegas for 12 years. I've worked at consultant for 11 of those years and worked on most of the water and wastewater plants here in the valley and now I work for Clark County Water Reclamation District. Okay, so I do have some questions for you. So, uh, how does the water cycle involve your work? Well, the water cycle um, in this valley, it starts out gather up our water from there and from various wells and SWA treats that water. When they treat that water, they take it in, they filter it, they clean it, they do what they need to do to distribute it out to the various water facilities in town. City of Henderson, Boulder City, Las Vegas Valley Water District, City of Las Vegas, North Las Vegas, they all get a share of the water and they spread it out to their customers by putting it in tanks and so that they prevent evaporation but they're able to get it out to each each of the people and then when the people in the valley are done using it it goes into the sewer system and comes down to the water reclamation district and that's where we treat it and we uh, use uh, biological processes in order to clean it up and then once we have it all clean and disinfected and all of the contaminants are removed from it then we release it back to like the wetlands park and down to the wash and eventually we deliver it back to the Colorado River Basin and like meat. Mm -hmm. If your work shut down how it does Well, the water, uh, the wastewater, as it as people are done using it, and it comes down to us, it never stops flowing. Um, there are so many people, and the casinos and all of the homes and stuff, they, they come in, and it just never stops. So if our plant were to shut down, then it would it would just keep coming at and it would overflow and so what we do is uh, we have ways to prevent it from overflowing so we have detention ponds and different things so that way we don't actually have a spill onto the ground but if our plant was to take place um, and, and shut down it could be a health risk for the community so we take a lot of precaution to prevent that from happening so that we have redundant uh, things that are so we have two things that run all the time from two different power sources so so that way not everything can shut down all at once because we don't want to overflow we don't want to contaminate the ground we want to don't want to have the health risks to the community and so we're able to uh, reduce that done with it, it uh, we have two forms. One form is the, which is the form that goes to the uh, wetlands park. They get a specific amount of water out of our uh, elf effluent and that water goes in and helps the animals and stuff. The other part of the water gets treated uh, even more 
and it gets sent to local area golf courses and it gets sent to the power company so they have cooling water it gets uh, sent to the soccer field so that they get water uh, because that water is is much cheaper than the water that that it takes for us to, to use at home. What processes does the water go through to get cleaned? Um, well, we have like a water care cycle and that water goes through the initial process of um, when, when it comes into our valley. What, what it does is you initially have some evaporation and condensation and precipitation that occurs from the ocean that comes up from storms that come in from uh, California and up north and they snow uh, and there's a lot of snow up in the Rocky Mountains and when that snow melts or when it rains then it fills up Lake Mead, Lake Powell, things come down into the Colorado River and it also starts filling our wells and so then we do the consumption and we try to prevent it from from evaporating even more um, we use in the in the valley less water than the, the amount of water that evaporates out of Lake Mead so there's more water lost in evaporation than we actually consume in the valley so it's uh, but they try to help with the river with the the lake levels and they try to help with things and then and then we do a care cycle where we treat the water we uh, make sure that it's recycled and all the contaminants are removed and then we finally like reuse the water so that we get credit and we return it back and uh, and so we run millions and millions of gallons through our plant every day. So today we learned uh, all about what the water, the wastewater treatment plant is all about and what it's like in Las Vegas. So this is Quinn Ballou signing off from Miss Monson's class. Okay, I need you to talk. How are you doing today? Now let's party with me.